common wisdom in the games industry is that it's risky to have a female lead, as games with a female lead are harder to sell than those with a male lead. But given that Hellblade is an independent, self-published and self-funded game, we were only concerned with creating a character that's right for our story. Several months ago I came across an article about a Celtic goddess that had just been discovered. They found a 1600 year old shrine with various offerings inside, um, some of which read something like, To the goddess Senua, we willingly fulfilled our vow. I loved the name Senua and I loved the, the mystery behind it. We would never know who she was, uh, what her story was, but that's what sparked the idea. Inspired by the article, Tamim came up with a new concept for a Viking and Celtic themed game and started to write down his first notes. To create a character of intense realism, beauty, anger and history. A mystery that drives the action and story forward, revealing more and more seductive details as she descends deeper into a vision of hell. She is a challenging female form. Not sexy, not skimpy, not young, not skinny, yet stunning, compelling and believable. With this brief, Alex started working up some concepts. Some were too game-like, some were too fantastical. But eventually, he arrived at two illustrations, a full body shot and a portrait that really captured the essence of the character. In Celtic culture, women fought alongside men, often leading them into battle. Uh, and in Northern Britain, a collection of Celts called the Picts, also known as the Painted People, were considered fierce barbarians by the Romans, who built an 80 mile long wall from coast to coast called Hadrian's Wall just to keep them at bay. Senua is a Pict, and as the Pictish are tough people, it was important that she reflected that. To realise Senua as a tough Celtic barbarian, we got Stu on board to join the team as art director. So I took the concept art and um, tried to break it down into real world references uh, and expand on some areas in terms of their detail. Uh, she had to be um, kind of lean, but also have very pronounced kind of muscles. Um, we wanted her to look like a hardened warrior type, um, full of scars and battle wounds. Uh, from here, Claire took it and the, the brief was to do kind of a 3D concept uh, quite quickly just stuck it in ZBrush and sculpt something up that we can iterate on quickly and move around and really get a feel for the character. Stu started prototyping ideas on how to create organic materials in real time, such as fur, cloth and hair that can react to the wind and animation. These are all things that are very difficult to achieve in Engine, but add greatly to the believability of the character. Both Craig and Stu also tried out a new face scanning method using a member of the team. This was to create a more realistic looking character for the release of our Hellblade teaser trailer. I used a process called photogrammetry to record Melina. Essentially we take a lot of photographs from different angles and then reconstruct them to create a 3D model and a texture map. So I scanned in her pores and her wrinkles in 3D and this gave us a really nice interaction with the lighting and made her skin feel much more lifelike and natural. Scanning a real world face and using it directly in the game can lead to the uncanny valley effect where a face doesn't feel natural or believable in the context of the CG world. But it did give Stu an excellent base from which to sculpt Senua's unique face. There are a lot of elements that um, make her feel believable, such as creating a good skin shader, reflections in the eye, so individually modelled eyelashes, uh, sweat, uh, mud, scars, uh, cracks in the makeup and how it interacts with her skin. It's all about telling her story visually. While doing research, I was fascinated by an island of Scotland called Orkney. It's a place of deep, deep mystery, but importantly, it's a place where the Vikings had invaded, and it is thought that they wiped out the native Pictish Celts that uh, lived there. So I imagine Senua, fierce and battle-worn, fighting for survival against what must have seemed like a hellish race of giant Norsemen. It's important to say that Senua's character is work in progress and will evolve throughout the project. Creating a good in-game model for use in the trailer is one thing, but getting her ready for the intense demands of gameplay is another. However, the feedback we've received so far has been encouraging, so that's something we'll take with us moving forward.